There's a Made in BC breakthrough to tell you about in cystic fibrosis research. The Child and Family Research Institute in Vancouver has made a discovery that could lead to new treatments to significantly reduce damage to the lungs and extend life. Linda Aylesworth explains. Since she was a baby, 13-year-old Georgia has followed a strict physiotherapy regimen. So I go like this. And I just basically do this. It's called PEP therapy. It helps loosen the thick mucus in George's lungs, one of the trademarks of cystic fibrosis, the most common genetic disease in Canada. That mucus sets the stage for infections. Those infections cause swelling and inflammation of the airways. And so there's a vicious cycle that causes damage to the lungs. CF affects other organs as well, but it's the fear of lung infections that garners the most attention. She takes medication for not just digestive things, but for, <laughs> for her lungs, lots of antibiotics. Yeah, a lot of medication, a lot of antibiotics at different times. If she gets exacerbations, <coughs> things flare up. <coughs> flare-ups that are caused by bacterial infections, the kind that most people's immune systems can fight off without incident. But what's different in cystic fibrosis is that the inflammation is, is more vigorous, is, is stronger, that inflammatory response is stronger than people without cystic fibrosis. For six years, Dr. Turvey's lab at the Child and Family Research Institute in Vancouver has worked hard to find out why that is. At last they know. The culprit it's called the unfolded protein response. That's a complicated scientific name, but the unfolded protein response is more active in the lung cells of patients with cystic fibrosis. And we've found that using strategies to turn down the unfolded protein response, we can normalize and reduce that damaging inflammation. They can turn it down in the lab with chemicals. Now the challenge is to find a way to do it safely in humans. It won't be a cure, but it will substantially improve quality of life. We're working hard in the lab every day. We're working here today to, to advance uh, this knowledge. And then we share our discovery with other researchers around the world so that together we'll all be working to develop new ways to treat and control cystic fibrosis. Just 30 years ago, the life expectancy for a child born with CF was 14 years of age. Today, it's 40, and tomorrow can only get better. This discovery uh, will make a different in, difference in George's lifetime to the way we look after cystic fibrosis.